Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with UK Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the American basswood. Tilia americana, also known as American linden, is an important tree for wood and for wildlife. It is a medium to large tree, typically growing up to 80 feet tall and 2 to 3 feet in diameter. The tree can be found growing on a variety of soils and moisture regimes, but most often found on moist sites. It is a commonly planted shade tree in our landscapes. It grows in the northern portions of the eastern and central United States. American basswood has fragrant, creamy, light yellow flowers that bloom in late spring to early summer after the leaves have emerged. The flowers hang in a cluster with 5 to 20 flowers per cluster, and each cluster is accompanied by a long, strap-shaped leafy bract. This bract may work like a flag to attract nighttime pollinators. The flowers are pollinated by many different insects. One study reported more than 66 different insects visited the flowers. The most common daytime pollinators are bees and flies, and the most common nighttime pollinator were moths. The leaves of the American basswood are deciduous, alternately arranged on the stem, and simple, as you can see in the photo below. They are heart-shaped with an unequal base. They have serrated margins, and they are pinnately veined, meaning that the dominant, they have a dominant center vein or midrib with other veins branching off from the middle towards the edge of the leaf. The fall color is yellow and not particularly showy. The fruit is a small round nutlet that has a covering of grayish brown woolly hairs. This is called tomentosa. The nutlets are in cluster, with each cluster accompanied by the strap shaped leafy bract, the same that was with the flowers. The nutlets ripen in the fall from September to October, and this is, the seeds are dispersed by wind, gravity, and wildlife. Trees typically produce seed from about age 15 to 100 years. American Basswood and Wildlife the flowers provide nectar for many insects, especially bees. Choice honey is made from this nectar, and in fact in some parts of its range it's known as the bee tree. The seeds provide food for mice, voles, chipmunks, and squirrels, and the buds and twigs are browsed by deer. The wood is soft and branches are easily broken off, and the wood decays easily so it provides good cavities for nesting birds like pileated woodpeckers and wood duck. The bark is smooth and grayish green on young trees, and as the tree ages, the bark turns a grayish brown with long, shallow furrows. The wood is pale white to light brown in color, and sapwood and heartwood sections are not clearly defined. The grain is straight with a fine, even texture and even a moderate luster. It's soft and light and easy to work. It's considered one of the best woods for hand carving. In the northern part of its range, basswood is an important timber tree used for veneer, pulpwood, and boxes. Because the wood is soft and light, it's valued for hand carvings like this box. The inner bark, or the bast, can be used as a source of fiber for making rope or for weaving items such as baskets and mats. The national champion, as well as the Kentucky champion American basswood, is in Lexington, Kentucky at the Lexington Cemetery. It is 276 inches in circumference, 102 feet tall, with an 85-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, go to the American Forest Champion Tree National Register or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about American basswood. The common name basswood was derived from the word bast, which is the fibrous inner bark of this tree that was used for ropes, baskets, and mats, like we just saw. The Iroquois carved ceremonial masks on living trees, then cut them off and hollowed out the backs. Hollow basswood trees found in the woods are often filled with honey or beehives. The fragrant flowers are also distilled for use in perfumes and soaps. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the American basswood and get the opportunity to get out in your woodland, local park, or cemetery, or your neighborhood and enjoy the beauty of the American basswood.